Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 134, Profile Redirect. Profile management is often an important part of a Power Apps Portals implementation. Because Power Apps Portals typically relies on an external identity provider, the registration process can sometimes feel a bit disjointed. You have to sign up for an account with the external identity provider, and that sign-up page may not allow you to capture all the information that you want for your portal. One setting that can allow you to smooth out this process a bit is the authentication slash registration slash profile redirect enabled site setting. When this setting is set to true, when a user logs in, if they meet certain criteria, they will be redirected to the profile page. That certain criteria is if the ADX underscore profile modified on column is null, or if the ADX underscore profile alert column is true. The most common scenario is the profile modified on column being null, which it is by default. This means that when new users get to the portal for the first time, they will be redirected to the profile screen. The out of the box profile screen is coded in such a way that anytime you submit the form, it updates the profile modified on column. So essentially in this case, you're requiring that the user submit the form at least once. Otherwise, they'll be redirected to the profile screen each time they log in. We can take advantage of this fact by adding required fields to the profile screen to capture any data that we couldn't as part of the original signup. Users must fill out this information to submit the form. If they don't submit the form, they will be redirected back to the form each time they log in. The profile alert column isn't used a lot out of the box, but it's something you can set via flows if there is something you want to notify the user about. If profile alert is true, then the out of the box profile page will display whatever message is in the ADX underscore profile alert instructions field. The profile alert field is cleared if the form is saved. And just so we're clear, what do we mean by profile page? This is whatever page is set on the profile site marker. By default, this is the web page at the URL of slash profile. But in theory, you can set this to whatever you want. If you create your own custom profile screen, make sure you consider that you might want to have it set the profile modified on date like the out of the box one does. In our next tip, we'll cover how you can force the user to fill out the profile before accessing any other pages on the portal. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 134 on profile redirect useful.